Well, everybody, I'm back with another video. As promised, uh, this is going to be a post game of the LSU versus Hawaii round one game and some more March Madness updates. Um, but the first part of the video, LSU gets it done against Hawaii in round one of the Baton Rouge Re Regional Women's Basketball at 73 50. Coming out in the second half, LSU played a whole lot better. They made, you know, more shots, more than just, you know, the layup inside, as I talked about in the video earlier. Uh, and they played a lot better. They, you know, they made more shots. But, uh, Morris, uh, you know, she she is usually one of the better players, one uh, one of the better shooters on the team. You know, she she she. I don't know what her stats were today, but she couldn't she couldn't shoot really well today. I don't know what it, what it was, but her and you know Reese was you know one of the better ones today. Williams and you know a couple other ones, but LSU's gonna have to they. You really need another shooter. I mean, you know, to make a really deep run in the NCAA tournament, they're going to need another shooter. Um, they have, you know, like I said, Morris was one of them, you know, but, you know, she, she's usually the one with the ball in her hands. You know, I don't know what it was today. She just couldn't, she wasn't on all game. Um, but they definitely need another shooter. You know, winning by 23 today is not bad, I don't guess. Michigan's uh, their next team that they're going to have to play. That's going to be Sunday. Um, so, you know, it, it was a good win for LSU. You know, it's not horrible, it wasn't great, but it'll, you know, all that matters is, if you, is that you survive and advance in the NCAA tournament. It doesn't matter if you win by 2, 12, 20, doesn't matter as long as you survive and advance. So, how about, I, I still don't even know their name. I, I, I still don't even know their name. What is it? Fair, Fairlay, Fairfield, Fair something, something Dickinson. Beating the number one seed, Purdue Boilermakers. I kept up with this game. I didn't think it actually happened. You know, the, the previous 16 seeds are like 1 and 150. I guess the one seeds now they're 2 150. Um, you know, the only other one, one win was uh, UMBC in 2018, 74-54 over Virginia. I remember that. I don't I remember some partial of it. Um... But, you know, coming in this game, I, I thought it was going to be Purdue by a mile. But he was close all throughout the game. It was, you know, back and forth, Purdue by one. Uh, fair FDU by, I'm just going to call them FDU. I don't even know their name still. I guess I'm going to have to learn it. Um, <clears throat> FDU by one. It was back and forth all game, especially in the second half. Turn it on. It was like 54 to 53 there for a while if you watched that game. It was, you know, stuck on that for at least five or six minutes. Uh, and then... Turned it off. I was flipping it back and forth between the LSU Texas A&M baseball game, which I will talk about as well. Um, and you know it, it was you know after you you know kept up with them. Purdue you know was falling behind, and you know after that 54 to 53 mark, after you had the lead, and they just really just took over from there. I, I, it was crazy for sure. Five point win over the number one seed Purdue, and officially there are zero brackets remaining in the first round. When's the last time that's ever happened? Zero brackets remain. In, the first round is not even over with yet. There's still a couple more games to go. Um, so I, I don't know who's going to be the Cinderella this year's bump. Definitely going to be a lot of them. You know, you got Princeton over uh, over Arizona, 15 seed. You got FDU, 16 seed over Purdue. Furman, 13 seed over Virginia. So you got a lot of you know teams, which I kind of figured that happened this year. You know, there's not really a dominant team outside of Alabama and I guess you could say Kansas maybe. Uh, there's a bunch of the, you know, the three, four, and five lines that are just kind of like, eh. You know, they're not great, you know, but. And most of these games today have been really close. I mean, you know, other than, other than the UCLA game yesterday and the Penn State game, you know, there hasn't really been a dominating team there. Kansas obviously beat uh, Howard by a lot. Alabama, it was a one point close uh, versus te te uh, Texas AMCC was at one point close. And it wasn't, you know, within single digits. I think it was 57 to 44 at one point. Um, I, I, uh, Kansas, I do believe, uh, beat Howard pretty handily. So Kansas, UCLA, and Penn State. You know, those were all really the three that just really went in there and just from the get-go were just dominated. But outside of that, you know, Houston kind of struggled. Marquette kind of struggled. Obviously, Arizona lost. Purdue lost. Uh, Kansas, Alabama, you know, they're... they're Bruised, uh, bruised by their uh, opponents, but who else? Who are the other two seeds? Um, you have uh, said Marquette, uh, UCLA won pretty handily, and there's you know there's a bunch of handful of games, especially the three fourteen lines that just really 
and I didn't dominate today. So it's going to be a fun NCAA tournament, see who comes out on top. More NCAA second round starts tomorrow, um, eight games tomorrow, eight, game, eight games Sunday. Um, but getting to the baseball topic, LSU defeats Texas A&M nine to nothing uh, on the you know offensive uh, shootout pretty much for LSU. You know they had the it was a four nothing lead. They had nine five runs in the top of the ninth. So a pretty good one for LSU over the uh, on, over number fifteen Texas A&M. Uh, and you know just try to go for the series win tomorrow, uh, game two. Softball falls to Tennessee five to nothing. Couldn't get a hit to save their life today, uh, which is I guess I can understand. They're playing the number four team in the country, but uh, ever since uh, they made the World Series a couple years ago, they've never really they really haven't been that great since then. But uh, more videos coming your way tomorrow as the NCAA second round gets underway. Eight games tomorrow, eight games Sunday. Uh, but we have. What? Who's playing right now? Kent State or Indiana? Eight to four Indiana. Thirty-four to twenty-five Kansas State over Montana State. Thirty-five to thirty-one Memphis over FAU. Uh, right now, the one I'm watching on True TV, Arizona State twenty-six to twenty-five over TCU. Uh, but more uh, videos coming away tomorrow as, NCAA, uh, as the second round gets underway. Uh, I'll probably have a video at some point tomorrow for sure. I'll see you next time.